Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today, we just found out like about an hour ago that there is, after the coronavirus, a new disease is coming out in China that they're warning people about. Um, and it's already killed one person. And it has the ability to become another pandemic. Um, the numbers are that bad from it. So it, it sounds like it's... Um, a similar strand or a similar version of one that had been around in 2009, um, but it's different and it has the potential to be worse than the coronavirus. So yeah. um, we're going to listen to this news clip and uh, then we'll talk about... The pandemic is spreading and there's already a new scare from China, a new killer virus. It's called the Hanta virus. You must have seen it. Trending on social media today, the virus is old, but the concerns are new, and so is the death. We don't want to spread panic, but we must know the facts. What is going what on in is China? Going on yeah. in China? Global Times, the mouthpiece of the Chinese Communist Party, was the first to report about this virus, the Hanta virus, as they're calling it. It said that one person from the Yunnan province of China died on a chartered bus today. This person was later tested positive for the Hanta virus. There are at least 32 people, there were 32 people on that bus and they're all being tested for any possible infection. As I said, the virus is not new. One report says the coronavirus may have weakened the immune system of people, so those who survived the Wuhan virus are now more vulnerable to other strains. And yeah. Is this virus fatal? Yes, it is. In fact, it is much more dangerous than the coronavirus. The Hanta virus has a mortality rate of 38 percent. Wow. 38. A it's, yeah. it's a very a scary, scary figure. figure. What's even more worrying is the fact that this figure is entirely based on previously confirmed cases. And there weren't many cases in the past. So the short answer is yes, it's fatal. Not that this is a surprise. Not at all. Not at all. Um, do we need another wave, another pandemic, another um, virus going around? No. No, but China thinks that since we have this virus, we're not going to be caught up on the new virus. And since our immune systems are bad from this virus, we're going to get this new mm. virus more easily. The whole reason that people need to go in and investigate, you know, is this you know, some biological weapons that they're making like... and are accidentally leaking? Is this from, you know, wet market or food that they eat? What they're like, eating? Like... Where is this all coming from? And and why so many from China? Like, we pull up, you know, you know, world's academics in recent history, and they cover four to five of them are out of China. ten are from China. That's why crazy 40 why? to 50 percent are from china that's not okay yeah and, and why haven't we stopped this recently like we have not stopped any of china incoming or outcoming ever and now we're deciding to um boycott them like yeah we should have been boycotting stuff a long time ago i don't know how it got this far it got this far like economically they're making more money than every other country so i we don't you know they kind of need us to need them and somehow that has become what we've been doing but, but they're not getting all of our stuff in they don't want our stuff they mm -hmm. want us to buy their stuff so they can make five dollars and we can only make one right and i hear they're a little bit upset with india for cutting the apps off um but i think that's funny because they don't like you said let anybody yeah. They don't let other apps in. You can't have Facebook and Twitter and but all these other apps. But they want you to buy all social their Social media stuff. apps. Of course. Yeah. They want to make money off the world. Apparently infect us with lots of lovely viruses that, um, you know, like we said, who knows where they're coming from. But this is why people need to go and investigate. I think it's funny that now nobody's going to – the who – organization is not actually going to um take china's word for sure it anymore it <laughs> that's a joke they shouldn't have done that in december when it first came out they shouldn't have done that in the first place they were mm -hmm. like oh this can't go to humans this is this fine. is not human to human well, i'm <laughs> glad you're realizing you can't trust china um but right now nobody really trusts trust the who so i'm glad trump has nixed that organization yeah. out of our budget um yeah just 
ridiculous that this is coming out. She said it was from rodents and rodent saliva. So where are they getting that inside their body? Yeah. Like we said, wet market, biological weapons. What they're eating. Yeah. But they obviously need somebody to come in and figure some of this stuff out so it doesn't continue to happen. We don't need another pandemic right now. We're barely getting through this one. Now, India's numbers are going up. Um, like she said, 16,000 deaths already. That's crazy. Um, it's it's going to continue to go up before it plateaus. And the U.S., we, we kind of plateaued. Things reopened, and people are not wearing masks as much as they should. They're not social distancing like they should be. And the numbers are increasing again. Um, so we feel like, you know, we're hoping that there's not another wave of that here as well. Yeah. Um, so keep safe. Keep social distancing. Um you know, but yeah, I wouldn't be letting anything in from China right now. No. Because we don't need this right now. Too many people have died and and we don't need another pandemic. So stay safe. And I hope you guys like this. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful Growing Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.